こんにちは、ジャパニーズアムのミサです。Hey guys! So we've learned how to make the math form, which we use for formal speech, which means when we talk to strangers or someone older, we have to talk like that. And you remember there are two types of verbs. One of them is iru eru ending. So for example, to eat is one of them. You remember? Taberu. And to look, to watch, to see, miru. So they've got eru or iru ending. It's really important that they are iru eru ending, not aru, uru, or other vowel plus ru. It has to be iru and eru. And we learned how to conjugate them. If you want to say I eat, you can just say taberu, but it's for informal speech. And if you want to do that for formal speech, I eat, you have to change the ru into mas. So we get tabemas, right? Tabemas means I eat or I will eat. It can be like you eat and stuff. So, iru eru ending, just get rid of ru and then put mas. For other endings, it can be any other ending. For example, to write, do you remember? Kaku, kaku. And if you want to say I write formally, do you remember what we have to do? We change the u into i and then mas. So, kaku becomes ka ki. Mas, kaki mas, right? So the same for any other things. For example, to go is iku, iku. And if you want to say I go or I will go formally, then we change iku into iki mas, iki mas. Other ones are, for example, to meet, we say au, au. So you just change the u into i, so a, i, mas. Aimas. And you remember, it's really easy to get the negation, past tense, past negatives once you get the mass form. So if you want to say I ate, then we change the taberu into tabemas and then tabemashita. Tabemashita. So I drunk, for example, to drink is nomu. nomu. So nomu becomes no mi mas, no mi mas. So the past tense, you just change the mas into mashita, right? So no mi mashita, no mi mashita. So we can say, for example, o cha o no mi mas. I drink tea, and I can also say o cha o no mi mashita. I drank tea. So no mi mas, kaki mas, tabe mas. The tense is I do something, I do do it every day or often, or it can mean I will do something. Now, we haven't learned how to do like I am eating, or I've been eating, or I was eating, right? And these forms, we use the same form called te form. It's super super important. I'm gonna tell you how to conjugate them into te form for the iru eru ending today because that's really easy. And this te form has so many usages, so I'll just explain as it goes. By the way, te means hand, but it's nothing to do with the hand. So, taberu, to eat, the te form of taberu is tabete, tabete. So, what happened? You just changed the ru into te. Tabete. And then this tabete on its own means eat as a request. So it's not an imperative. That's kind of important ish because we, we do have another way to make an imperative form, which is rude. Maybe you've heard in anime, it's like tabero. It's really easy to conjugate, but we're gonna do that a bit later. So tabero is really rude way to say eat. Maybe it's kind of even like swearing. So we don't have many swear words in Japanese, but that's how you can be rude in Japanese. Tabero. But this te form, tabete, is not rude. So you can say that to your friends. Tabete. So, like, eat my cookies, right? How nice. You can say, cookie o tabete. Cookie o tabete. So, we still use the same particle o for the object, right? 
クッキーを食べて。But this is kind of an informal way to say eat, please. If you wanna be more formal, right? So we wanna say that to your boss or strangers, then you can just put kudasai after the te form. So please eat formally. We say tabete kudasai. Tabete kudasai. Kudasai actually comes from the verb kudasaru, which means like you do something and I really appreciate it. Something like that. And kudasai is kind of like an imperative form that means you do something and I'll appreciate. It's a bit weird, of course. So it's, you know, we treat it almost like a phrase or something that we don't think the origin. Kudasai is like, Please. So, tabete kudasai. Please eat. So, if you wanna say, please look, right? To look is also the iru eru ending verb, miru, right? Miru. To make the te form of iru eru ending, we just get rid of the ru and then put te. Easy. Look. We say, mite, mite. If I saw an、um, UFO, I probably would go like, Mite, 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 mite. Look, 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 look. And again, if you want to be more formal, so teachers usually speak formally to the students. If I was the teacher in the classroom and I want the students to look at the whiteboard or blackboard, then I would say, Mite kudasai. Please look. Mite kudasai. So look at something. In English, you use that particle at. But in Japanese, we just use the O particle. So, blackboard, we say kokuban, kokuban. So, if you want to say, please look at the blackboard, then kokuban o mite kudasai. Kokuban o mite kudasai. And then, if you want to say, look at me, then you can say, watashi o mite, watashi o mite. But, I would probably just say, mite, because again, in Japanese, it's better to usually omit the pronouns. So, mite, other irere ending verbs, for example, you remember how we said to sleep? Neru, neru. So, if you wanna say, sleep, please, then we say, ne, te, right? Just get rid of ru and put te. So, ne, te, ne, te. And if you want to say please sleep formally, then nete kudasai. Nete kudasai. So if you want to say it's already 11 o'clock, go to sleep, then you can use that nete, right? So already, do you remember how we say already? We say mo, mo. So already 11 o'clock. 11, we say 10, 1, right? So 11. And then o'clock, we use the suffix ji. So, 11 ji, 11 o'clock. So, it's already 11 o'clock. Then we say, mo 11 ji. If you want to be formal, you can put mo 11 ji desu. So, you can say, mo 11 ji, nete. And to wake up is also the iru eru ending verb. Do you remember? Okiru. Okiru. Can you change into the te form? Okite. Okite. So, if you watch an anime or drama, you will definitely hear this phrase once. Okite, okite. Wake up. Wakey, wakey. Okite. In anime, usually the younger sister, Imoto, says, Oni chan. Oni chan means big brother, older brother. So, Oni chan, okite. That's so common in anime, I think. But, You don't have to be an o n i c h a n you can just say, Okite to anybody. Okite. And then if you want to be a bit formal, then you say, Okite kudasai. Okite kudasai. So if you have to wake Senpai up, then you'd say, Senpai, okite kudasai. So I told you I was going to tell you how to do present continuous, which is like, I am doing something. Right? If you want to say, I am eating, You will use the te form and put iru, iru. I'm eating, we say tabe te iru, tabe te iru. So we just change the taberu into tabe te 
which on its own means please eat. But if you put iru at the end, it means I'm eating or I've been eating. So whenever you hear te iru, that's present continuous, doing something now. But tabete iru is an informal way to say I'm eating. So if you want to do that formally, we just change the tabete iru into tabete imasu. So I told you the way to make the mas form of iru eru ending, we just change the ru into mas, right? So iru on its own is iru, so we just get rid of ru and put mas. Imas, imas. So tabete imas. I'm eating formally. Tabete iru informally. And another thing, this te iru in speech, so when we are talking, especially in informal speech, we drop the i bit. So instead of saying te iru, we say teru, teru. So tabete iru, it's okay. But if you want to sound more natural, you'd say taberu, taberu. And the same for the formal speech, te imas, you could say temas, temas. You don't write that way. Maybe you can if it's your own blog. But if you're writing, for example, an essay or anything formal. You should stick to te imas. When you are talking, you might hear people saying te mas instead of te imas. So, tabete iru becomes taberu. And tabete imas sometimes becomes tabete mas. That's how you say I'm eating or I've been eating. For example, I'm eating dinner. Then, do you remember how we say dinner? Pan gohan. Pan gohan. So, I'm eating dinner. Dinner is the object. So you know what particle we should put. Pan gohan o na eating now. Tabete iru o just taberu. If you want to do that formally, you'd say pan gohan o tabete imas. So pan gohan o taberu informally. Pan gohan o tabete imas formally. This step form has more usages. But you can already see why it's really important form, right? If you want to say I'm doing something now, you can just drop te form and then put iru or imas. So do you remember how we say I watch TV or I will watch TV? Terebi o miru informally and terebi o mimas formally, right? But now let's say I'm watching. TV now. So we want to get the te form of miru and then put iru or imas. So the te form of miru is mite, mite. It's easy, right? Just get rid of ru and put te. So mite is look. But if you put iru, then it means I'm watching now. Pretty cool, right? So mite iru is I'm watching now. And mite imas, I'm watching now formally. So I'm watching TV, it'd be terebi o mite iru and terebi o mite imas. Cool. I kept saying now, now, now. So if you say terebi o mite iru or terebi o mite imas, it already has the meaning of now. But if you want to put more emphasis on now I'm watching it, then you can add the word ima, ima. Then say ima terebi o miteru or ima terebi o miteimas. But you don't have to put it. And also, if you want to say I've been watching Game of Thrones or you know a show like you've been watching it for a while. Then you also use the same form, miteru or miteimas. It's exactly the same. For example, I've been watching. To be honest, I've been binge watching the show called My Name Is Earl. Maybe you've heard of it. It's an awesome show. It's about karma and stuff. If you've seen the show, maybe leave a comment. So I can say My Name Is Earl or miteru or My Name Is Earl or miteimas. Of course, like that, it can mean I'm watching My Name Is Earl right now. Or maybe you want to put the word like recently. So recently, I've been watching a show called My Name Is Earl. 
then recently we say saikin saikin just put it at the beginning and i can say saikin my name is earl o mitte imasu and if you want to say i'm sleeping i mean you're not gonna say it but you know maybe let's say the baby is sleeping then we just change the neru into nete iru or nete imasu so the baby do you know how we say it akka chan akka chan akka means red and chan is like the suffix for usually when calling girls in a cute way or like me chan is how my friends call me so akka chan is like cute red thing babies are red when they're just born and not just when they're born but usually japanese babies are pretty red so yeah akka chan baby is sleeping a lot of people think okay so eating dinner we use the particle o so maybe we should use the o particle here too but think about it the baby is actually not the object if you make the baby an object then it mean like i'm sleeping baby which is kind of weird so you want to say the baby the topic is sleeping so for the topic we use the wa particle right so we say akka chan wa nete iru akka chan wa neteru or akka chan wa nete imasu that's how you say the baby is sleeping so to wake up do you remember okiru right okiru and the te form so wake up do you remember wake up oni chan we say okite right okite so if you put that iru after okite iru it doesn't really mean like i'm waking up right now i'm getting up right now it means i'm awake so okite iru okite imasu means to be awake so te form plus iru is used for present continuous so like doing something now but it can also indicate the state of something so for example there is a verb yaseru which means to lose weight or to get skinny yaseru so the mass form of yaseru we say yase mas right so you just get rid of ru and put mas because it's er ending so if you want to say you lost weight then yase mashita right yase mashita we usually often put the ne at the end yase mashita ne you lost weight didn't you but the te form of yaseru is yasete right so yasete would mean please lose weight but you say yasete iru it's usually not i'm losing weight right now it's to be skinny or to be thin so you've already lost weight and then you're being skinny so yasete iru so some verbs the te form plus iru just show the state for most of the verbs it means doing something now the action is continuous so other verb for example to teach we say oshieru so again it's er ending so the te form would be oshiete oshiete so that means please teach right you can even add oshiete kudasai please teach formally if you want to say please teach me japanese then the japanese is the object so nihongo o oshiete kudasai nihongo o oshiete kudasai so you can say misa sensei nihongo o oshiete kudasai but if you want to say misa sensei is teaching japanese like now then like the baby is sleeping misa sensei is the subject not the object and the object in this sentence is japanese right so misa sensei wa japanese o teaching so can you try misa sensei wa nihongo o oshiete ru or misa sensei wa nihongo o oshiete mas i've got messages from some people and apparently some of you are teaching english in japan stuff so if you want to say i'm teaching english in 
let's say Tokyo. Then in Tokyo location mode, we use the de particle. So we say Tokyo de, and then English as a language. A go, and then that's the object. So a go o, I'm teaching. Oshieteru. So Tokyo de a go oshieteru. Can you make that sentence formal? Tokyo de Nihongo Oshiete Mas. Awesome. So if some of you are teaching English in Japan, then write that in Japanese in the comment section. So in the next video, I will teach you how to conjugate the other verbs. Just quick review, just te on its own, then that's a request. You can put kudasai to make it more formal. But if you put iru or imas after the te form, then that's present continuous doing something now or have been doing something now. All right. Thank you for watching again. And by the way, I started sending newsletters. I talk about lots of things and that's usually written in Japanese and English. So if you haven't signed up for mail list, then you should because you get a lot of good deals and stuff. Please check the link below and yeah, go sign up. Ciao, mata ne!